Hello everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and today I want to show a project and a plugin that I've written called Cypress Magic Backend. I wanted to write this plugin for a long time and I hope you like this plugin. It will make your end-to-end -end test much, much faster and better. Before I show the plugin, I want to show the problem I'm trying to solve. Imagine I'm starting an application in Cypress and I have a test that just adds a single to-do. So we are resetting the current to-dos on the backend. We're visiting the page. We're confirming it has been loaded, adding two to-dos, reloading the page, confirming the two to-dos are still present. And to end test, electron, click on the spec. Okay, so what do we see here? We see the application, adding to-dos, reloading, and both to-dos are there. Notice the test took six seconds. And that's because if you look at the request and each call that the application is making, that is shown right here. Our backend is slow. I specifically added a one second delay to each network call that the backend processes. So you can look at the network tab. And if you run, notice that just getting to do's initially takes one second. Adding the first to do takes one second second to do another one second and after reloading and getting the to do's back it's another one second kind of you know typical problem right your api is slow right and if you make a lot of requests during your end-to-end -end test the test is slow as well what can we do to improve this well it's nice to use the real api but sometimes we want to confirm that the front end um, is working and we don't care about the back end that much. This is the first problem that Cypress Magic Backend will allow you to solve. And let me show how it does it. I'm gonna close the application and exit Cypress. I'm gonna install Cypress Magic Backend as a dev dependencies, right? Because all my Cypress plugins are dev dependencies. I'm going to go to Cypress config and I will tell through environment settings that my magic back end has the following settings. It has API calls to intercept. And this is where I can define which calls are not the simple front end resources like HTML, JavaScript, CSS, but actual calls to the back end to load to do's, save to do's maybe GraphQL endpoint. So think site intercept and we're listening to calls like, you know, get to do's, maybe post to do's, um, maybe delete to do's and then one, two, three, four, right? With an ID. And if you want to capture both endpoints like to do's or to do's with an ID, the best way is to use path name in this case and it's like to-dos. And because Cypress uses mini match, if you wanna have to-dos and another segment, then you can say optional, okay? Uh, and I think it has to be comma. Okay, well, well, we'll see how it works. And because it's a plugin, we wanna import its Cypress magic backend frontend stuff from the support file. Okay, let's see how it behaves and what it does. So I'm going to start the application, open Cypress, and to end testing, Electron Browser, I'm going to click on the spec. And first thing you might notice are the new buttons that the plugin put right there next to the replay button. That's the default Cypress button. So the first thing we need to do, if we want to use this plugin, we want to record all the API calls to the endpoint that we defined in the config file. So let's try clicking the record button. Okay, so notice this aliases, right, that match the button. That means we define our API calls to intercept correctly. We intercepted with get to do's, the post to do's, and get to do's again. And notice at the end it said um, that four calls have been written into the JSON file. For each test, it writes a separate JSON file. Let's look at that uh, JSON file. It's under Cypress, Magic, Backend, and then the name of a spec and the name of the test. 
if you change the name of a test, well, or spec, unfortunately, you'll have to re record right now. Uh, Cypress Magic backend plugin written it. The version of a plugin is 103. And the API calls in this particular test were in order. We got the to do's, right? The URL, uh, there was no request body, response was an empty list. Then we created a new to do, which means it made a post request to slash to do's. And the request body was an object with item one, completed ID, and the server response was the same object. Then we recorded another item. And then once we reloaded, the application made a get call that we recorded. And now we got the response from the server with two to do's. Great. We just recorded it. Perfect. Now we can run the same test. And instead of allowing the actual API calls to those endpoints, we can use the recorded uh, JSON to intercept and mock those calls. And notice how much faster the test is running right now because we're not going to the backend look at this empty circle. Cypress tells us that this was a stopped network call. Much, much faster than before. And if you don't have a JSON file, it will run just like a normal test. All right, well, we can make this test even faster because we don't need to reset the data on the backend because we never use the backend in this test anymore, right? We are marking all the network calls, so why do we have to reset anything? Let's do this. I'm gonna go to the spec, and right here, I can get the current magic backend mode. Right now, it's not recording, it's in the playback mode. So I can ask from Cypress and magic backend mode. And so if we have a mode and mode is not equal to playback, then we want to make the request to reset. Okay. But if we play back mode, right? If we clicked this button, right? Right now it's a regular mode. Okay. Now notice what happens right here. We're in playback mode, so we're not making side requests to the API because we don't need it. Then everything runs very, very quickly because we're using Max for everything, except for the page itself and loading its styles and JavaScript. So this is the first feature of Cypress Magic Backend that I think people will find very useful. You can record an existing test record it into a JSON fixture, commit that fixture with your source code. And next time you work on a front end only, or you don't have a back end right now, maybe you're running on CI and you can only test the front end code, no biggie. The test is fast and it uses complete realistic mock requests and responses.